Hey guys, it is Sunday morning at 9 a.m. because everything I want to take happens to be at 9 a.m. And they all happen to be at 9 a.m. at the exact same time today. So I'm a little like, ugh. So I gotta go downstairs and figure out what costume, or what costume, what um, class I wanna take. I think I'm gonna go to All About Wool um, and check that. I took out All About Linen last year and it was really good. So I think I'm gonna give that a go. Okay, I wanted to go to Wool, but it, it's right behind me outside and I was like, nope. Not this morning. <laughs> not happening. It's too hot out. It's like 85 degrees out already. I'm like, that's not, that's not my thing. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I, no. Mm -mm. So I'm going to a talk by Mella who makes hats. Um, she makes hats for Disney actually. Um, she's quite an amazing girl and she's doing a talk on thread and all the different kinds of thread and their uses. And that's fascinating so I'm gonna go to that. And by fascinating, I mean potentially fascinating for like just me. So we'll see how this goes. Somehow that's in a hundred, does that mean it's a hundred weight and things like that? And so let me start off with a couple things. Let's talk about weight first, okay? Some things are not on your handout, but there's some general things on the handout that I think are important. So if you want to take notes, you can flip it over for a while, okay? And, um, what people don't understand is there used to be in America, USA, only three weights of thread. It was just wide. Um, and no one, no one really took, you know, didn't deal with that. But people were conscious of it. And so in 1820, Clark produced the first wooden cotton reels. Now who's from England? Anybody here? Have you ever been to England and gone to a sewing store? They don't sell thread. They sell cotton. It doesn't come on a spool, it comes on a reel. And that's what they call it. They call it cotton. Even when it's not cotton, even when it's more it's cotton. Because cotton means sewing thread. Designed to go up. All right? Designed to go up. So these bad new garment, you be well Those machines go very fast. Okay? And young boy. That class was actually amazing. Like, Every time I go to some class that I'm like, hey, maybe. I come out of there and I'm just like, oh my God, I learned so much stuff. Like, it was such a good class on thread. Like, she went over every kind of thread. And like, all the reasons thread works the way it does, and why your thread's snapping, and all that kind of stuff. Like, as someone who sews, it was good. Um, so, I'm gonna stay in the same room. And it's an introduction to digitizing embroidery, which I don't do, but I'm interested in. Hi guys! Um, anyway, but I need to, so I have a hotel reservation through Sunday, but I, in the end, I decided to stay till Monday, so I just made another reservation, but you actually physically have to check out in your room and check back into it. And like, that is so annoying. Anyway, so, um, usually they can just combine reservations, but for some reason they couldn't do it. Um, so I have to go do that right now. Like, in the middle of class, it sucks. So, that's what I'm doing. Silk to chest, I would have a single layer silk to chest, iron on interfacing, horsehair interfacing, and then iron it. And all together, and then I would embroider that as my interfacing. And just, and I, you can't get rid of the horsehair, it never really hung right, but that's what I had to do, so. Yes. Um, I have a question. Does the brother, does that export in other formats? I couldn't do, I couldn't get it done. Yes, you can. It does? Okay. Yes. You can export it however you want. Actually, I think. Nice. Hey guys, look, it's the pokey wheelie thingy that I was talking about before. Yeah. Okay, that digitizing embroidery class was crazy. Like, Christine, who is so steen, like the word S so, S E W, steen on Instagram. I'll link her down below. Go check her out. She's insane. She works 80 hour weeks. She has a kid. And then she sits there and hand digitizes extant embroidery in her spare time. And then sits there and babysits her embroidery machine while it embroiders like literally millions of stitches. Like she's like, I put 55 million stitches on my machine every year. I'm just like, oh my God, cool. Like, that's just an overwhelming thought. So, yeah. Um, she showed us how she does that, and what that clarified for me is that I am never, ever, ever, ever 
gonna digitize embroidery. I'm just gonna buy it. Or beg someone else to do it, or pay someone else to do it, because no, A, I don't, I'm not that fiddly, and B, like, uh-uh. That's too much time. Like, it's just insane amounts of time. That I said that, and now I'm gonna do it, probably. That's how it is, I'm like, I'm never gonna blah, 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 and then I'm like, oh, fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I went to the dealer hall briefly because my favorite ribbon seller sells at Costume College, and she brings new stuff every day, so I go every day to the dealer hall to see what she's got, and she brought me a couple of extra spools that are just for me, um, which I really appreciated, and that was really sweet of her. Um, so now I am headed towards some bad non-Chinese food. My hair is crazy. Um, really, I should be taking a shower right now and fixing this hair. But, um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, so, then I'm gonna go back and there are a few more classes I wanna take, some of which overlap, so that sucks. Um, there's a turban class I wanna take because of going to bath. I wanna put it, do an evening turban. Um, and then, Constance is teaching a closures class that I really want to go to, but they overlap. So I'm probably going to go to one and then like come in late to Constance's or something. Anyway, I'm going to have some non-Chinese food lunch. It'll be fantastic. This seems promising. Okay. I, I would love to say that that was delicious, but it wasn't, so. <laughs> I'm just going to say I went to be with James. And now I'm full, <laughs> which is what I needed. And a little bit of quiet time. So now I'm going to the bar because um, my friend, uh, who's from Willoughby and Rose, I will link her down below, um, is passing out chocolate strawberries as like a vintage strawberry girl. So I want to see this and I'm going to go get a strawberry and uh, say hi and possibly bye to her because I won't be able to see her, um, maybe, because it's the last day of costume college. And then I'm gonna go to two classes. I'm gonna go to turban tying, and I'm gonna go, ooh, that's some shady, shady business I'm in. I'm gonna go to turban tying, and then I'm gonna go to fastening with Constance McKenzie, who is amazing. Look at his hair, what a rat's nest. Boy, do I need a turban right now, and I don't wanna look like I have Voldemort on my head anymore. I found antique corsets and all these folks. Some of which you may recognize from Foundations Revealed. So it, it's the long line, so you have to end the bone before the end of the channel. Oh, yeah. great. I love this. The best. Mm -hmm. It just flashed. One piece. Right. We we try so carefully not to eat it. When I got taught to make them, I just slashed it like that too. Yeah, and I just put like a back stitch there and a back stitch there. So no. Look at the shoes that she made. So Debbie, these these are Debbie's shoes. Oh no! Thank you. They actually. Okay, that was unexpected and awesome because there was just like antique corsets like hanging out and people were checking them out. That is costume college in a nutshell. Like, just so good. Um, random things that pop up. And then I talk to a whole bunch of people that I don't see ever. I just know them on the internet. So it's really nice to see them, especially on the last day, so I can at least say goodbye because we've hung out all weekend and look forward to seeing them next year. We want to stay away from synthetics because, yeah, they're going to make your head hotter. They don't breathe. Um, however, it's not really about the fabric content so much as it is about the texture of it. I have polyester scarves that have beautiful texture. They're fine. I can wrap them without a sorry issue. Over top of my hair because it needs to be very lightweight and it needs to not be tight. Um, okay, I get headaches that way. So now that I have that on, I can sit this as far back as I want on that to linen And now it has something to grip it. Um, so that now I can take the scarf. Wait, which direction do I want? Okay. 
and enter the knot you just made. And then I can do a little bows. I have a big head, so I don't get the cute floppy bows that a lot of the ladies have had this weekend. I get a itty bitty cute bow. And it's not going to go anywhere, even though I haven't done my hair like this. Um, but it's these scarves that let you do a lot more. These are huge. Don't just plop this on your head and wrap it. First thing you want to do is fold it over a bit to make it a little bit closer to the length of your head from where you want it to start and where you need it to cover so that you don't end up with too much bulk at the nape of your neck. Okay, that's about how much I want. Okay, I think somebody was asking me about Regency style. Okay. That was me. So, Regency style, further back on my head. Okay. I take it to the back, kind of bunched up like I've got ponytails. Cross it over, and then just cross. Cross, cross, cross. Down here, continue. Mm -hmm. Take this, wrap it over. Woman just saved my life for Val. <laughs> uh, that was Teresa. She's awesome, um, and she wears a turban like all the time. So she's a pro at teaching turban class. So never thought I would need turban class, but I did. So now I'm gonna go see Constance um, teach eyelet buttonholes. No eyelets and buttonholes. Not sure. <laughs> So I'm gonna go see what's going on up there. She's a pro, literally, like, works on movie costumes, so I thought I would learn that. This is what I'm going to. A needle that you're happy stitching with, I mean, I'm not fussed by what needle you use at all, as long as it's one you're comfortable with, and that the eye is big enough that your thread passes through easily with no, um, no sort of fraying or snagging, because you're going to be pulling the thread quite tight to between Mm. And then a thimble if you sew with one, which I thoroughly recommend you do. So, the next part is making the hole in your beautiful, almost finished garment, which is the most nerve wracking part for most people. <laughs> like just a simple roll hole? Yeah. I think it's a 60th of every one, then 1 16th and 1 16th of an inch, but you know, we can't all manage that. So, you can use the depth of your hem as your guide, but as I haven't got one, we're just pretending. That there's a there, so you go. Okay, so definitely making a knot. So it's it's like a blanket stitch, but it's just angled. Oh, oh. so you get the cross. I'll do it a bit bigger because it's not coming. Can you get that on? Okay, so it's not a herringbone at all. No. I, How did oh you weave God. them together, though? I, I don't know. It just works. It is in the, his, the School of Historical Dresses two books. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's, a, there's an illustration of how to do it. Um, it does also come up if you look at under insertion stitching, but this is the decorative bit before you do the insertion. Do you know and, which book And I do believe Morgan Donner uh, did a St. Uh, Saint Brigida uh, uh -huh. yeah. cap, and she did something similar. Yeah, um, I find often just looking for pictures of insertion stitch mm -hmm. brings this up, but the School of Historical Dress books are the ones that demonstrate it really nicely with actual stitch demonstration. That's so beautiful and so simple. It, it, I've done this on the, you know, my other, other obsession is ruffs. That's uh -huh. what I normally teach. Oh, yeah. Lord. And um, I've done this along the edge of ruffs and it looks absolutely gorgeous. What, what is this? Yeah. Like, do you do it in a black for? work or, or just whatever? Sorry, say again? Do you do it in a black work or just whatever? I, I really like pink. So I think I've done one in pink and I've done one in black. Oh, so okay. yeah, black is the normal, normal decoration for ruffs. 
But when they started to get fashionable in the 1550s, 1560s, you actually see a lot of other colours. Yeah. So at that point, they hadn't really settled down to like mostly black work. Um, um, like, do you ever use uh, like the like a gold type thread? Uh, Extreme zoom. I need that a little bit short. Oh, she's doing it. And of course, try not to sew it to the thing. Yeah. Yes. So, it's one of where I just do it. Are you going in and out of the same hole that you already made? You sort of wrap the stitch, wrap the thread round, go through it. Oh, going through your stitch. Bite, okay, yeah, uh huh. Thread, and pulling it like that. So you bring a knot. Yeah. So it's always a bit harder the so other way. So you're making a loop again. Yeah. So going through. Okay. 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 You said there was um, not a blanket stitch, but something you could look up uh, decorative hems or something uh, like that? N uh, insertion stitch. There we go. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and you can find it in different degrees of decoration. It'll be simple ones. And That's what this is called? Ones. I think no, it's a. Like, well, sometimes it's called insertion stitch, sometimes it's called faggoting, depending on the technique. So Or what country you're in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always looking up faggoting on Pinterest, it does produce what you want most of the time, I've discovered. Turn on safe search, guys. But yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a problem in England, but you might find it hard. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, you would. I've got a folder on Pinterest called faggoting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I always wondered why it was called that, because... I suppose maybe because like I'm not uh, understanding like the original term, because I thought it was more of like a, a bundle of sticks. I know it as a bundle of sticks as well, so I don't know why it also applies Maybe because this looks like a bundle of sticks, kind of. That must be what it is. <sighs> Sunday in costume college. I finally have an elevator to myself. Oh, so good. Um, the one thing I will say about it in general is that there's a lot of introverts here. I'm the weirdo that's an extrovert. There's a few extroverts for sure. But there's a lot of introverts who sew. And the costume college is exhausting. <laughs> and it's social all the time. So, if you're an introvert, because I have lots of friends who are here and they're all introverts, um, schedule yourself some downtime because it's very intense, like very intensely social. Sorry, I was totally interrupted by having to get into my room. Anyway, I'm an extrovert <clears throat> and I still really need some space every now and then. No matter how much like FOMO I have that I'm not downstairs experiencing every single thing. Thank God for years of Comic-Con because I was just like let go of having to do everything. But um, everyone's costume college experience is completely different so. You guys are seeing like what I did this weekend, but man, there is a million variations of stuff that people do. Some people are just like intensely, I us I'm usually just like intensely in class the whole time. Like I just want to learn all the things. So I spend a lot of time in class um, and very little social time. This year, obviously I did a whole bunch of social things, which was really fun um, and I haven't done that before, but it's very tiring and it also means you don't go to class very often. So like I missed out on a bunch of stuff that I would have liked to do, but the social stuff was more important to me, so I made that decision to do that. So it was really awesome, so awesome to meet everybody. Um, so we do have the trunk show left, and I'm gonna go down and do that, so I'll bring you guys with me for that. For now, I really, really, really need to wash my hair because this is a hot mess. It's like up in a bun because it's like unfit for human visual consumption. Um, although I did have it down for a while today. <laughs> I was just like, I put my hand back there and I was like, I need to put this in a bun right now. Oh my god. So, um, yeah, I was very like happy with all my classes today. The um, consoles class was awesome. Uh, the turban class was awesome. Like everything I went to today was really good. That thread class was like blowing my mind. And I'm glad I learned about digitizing 
embroidery because that just never gonna do that <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna go take a shower say goodbye to some, to some friends who are leaving early and then um go down to the trunk show i think that's at 5 30 so i think i have a couple hours which is really nice there might be a nap kind of need a nap i have never been so excited to be freshly showered and sopping wet in my life that hair though that hair um i would say that this today's vlog represents more of what costume college is like if you come to do classes and yesterday's vlog represents more what happens if you come and you're like in costume the whole time i mean i think everybody takes some classes or like drops in on some lectures or whatever but there's definitely a difference between taking the um limited classes and the unlimited classes the limited classes are significantly more intense you make something in them for sure you're working on stuff they take way longer those classes are usually like i don't think i've ever seen one less than two hours and and the most they are is all day i've seen one one time that was two days where they made corset in two days and i was just like whoa that's a lot um and i think you might get homework which i'm just like no i don't think they offer that class anymore because people were just like mm, i'm not doing homework while i'm at costume college i gotta go party so, um, but this one is more what it's like when you come and you just want to like learn stuff. <laughs> so you're just in class all day and then <coughs> you say hi to people in the hallways. And um, Sunday is definitely the most mellow day. Weirdly, it's kind of my favorite day. <laughs> I like the like gentle calm down off your Comic Con, or not Comic Con, off your costume college high because. Um, a lot of cons are like intense the entire time and then you leave and you have like oh i miss it i wish i was there and then you like i don't know there's a calm down period for sure whereas <coughs> it's so dry in here um this humidifier thing i have is bomb.com by the way i got one of these on amazon and it humidifies my room for me while i have the air conditioning on because it is freaking hot and i'm not not having the air conditioning on but man it makes it dry what was I even saying? I don't know. I remembered, and by remembered, I went and looked at the footage. <laughs> yeah, there's usually a really like hard and kind of harsh come down, like Monday afterwards is like, ooh, and I bet a lot of people are actually feeling like that anyway. But Sunday here is so mellow, and there's actually really good classes that happen on Sunday, like whereas at Comic-Con it's all like kids day, so it's like, eh, it's way less cool than like Saturday was. Um, Sunday gives good classes here, like I had way more classes I was interested in today, and even ones I couldn't even go to. Um, so I feel like it's a great day to like just chill, sleep in if you can, I couldn't because I have always have 9 o'clock freaking classes, I hate the morning. Um, and then see people and say goodbye and calmly like sort of mellowly exit the costume college experience so that you don't feel that like very harsh sense of reality coming back although that's gonna happen for sure tomorrow so speaking of tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna go for that interview i've been telling you um with the homeland security so i can get my um, known traveler ID number and stuff like that and then I'm gonna drive all the way back home and that's gonna be like um I think it's usually like six hours back um journey so that's probably gonna be not that exciting for you guys so I probably won't vlog that um because it's nothing to see except me going la 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 for like six hours um and then I'll crash uh, this week is actually really rough because I have plans every single night, but I have so much stuff to do for the next, um, like, month before I go on my trip. I don't even know what's going to happen. So I probably won't post a vlog on Friday because I don't really know if I'm going to have any content anyway. Um, also, I'm a little, you know, burnout from this, so I probably need a couple days of, um, of just not sewing anyway. And then I'll get cracking on it again this weekend, hopefully. Okay, well, we will go to the market in just a little while. I am going to edit this vlog for a little while so that I do not have to stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning because oh, it's too much. <laughs> and I actually have to get up early and leave tomorrow, so I also might pack my car up a little bit, like go take a load or two down um, so that I can avoid having to deal with that. Yeah, so this 
place is nuts. Nuts, eh? Yeah. I'm getting these. Thank you from Berlin Trowbridge. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything else. It's like, you think it was a sample sale? I, no, no kidding. Like, this place is crazy. Okay, so I'm back from the trunk show. Um, that was, like they had some good stuff, but it was also marginally un underwhelming, I guess, because um, like Burnley and Trowbridge only brought handkerchiefs, which I can totally understand, because that's the lightest thing for them to ship here all the way from Williamsburg. So, you know, it makes sense for them not to do that. But <laughs> on the other hand, I thought, oh, Burnley and Trowbridge will be here. Maybe they'll have some awesome stuff. Like maybe fabric, maybe threads, maybe stuff like that, like that they're super famous for selling. Um, uh, Amy Kitty was here, um, and she was selling her pins. Um, I had all the pins that were present that I wanted, so, um, already, so I didn't get any of those. Um, and there was some American Duchess, um, presents, but it was really just, like, patterns and stuff. And then it was mostly tables full of, like, really small things, which I understand if you're gonna come from far away and you've gotta, like, ship stuff, then, yeah. And if you're gonna bring a big supply of stuff you might as well have a room in the dealer's room that you get all weekend to staff and sell stuff I know red threaded um, was here for the first time ever and I know that they did very well um, this weekend like they they did well on selling stuff so I just it can be a very like great place to to do business but I think you have to have a license um, to sell stuff in a hotel because of the brothel in industry like because of prostitution and stuff so like you can't like it's illegal to sell stuff in your hotel room and stuff because it's um like because of prostitution essentially you can't exchange um goods for money in a hotel room i think it's like some law anyway um so it was like, like a little under underwhelming because i expected like ooh a trunk show it's gonna be awesome and then i guess now that i think about it that's probably what a trunk show is is like just small stuff i've been only fashion trunk shows where they're selling clothes so those are normal size so I don't know what I was expecting it was just like less exciting than I thought it would be um, if I didn't have the thing to do tomorrow I would be bummed that I stayed here an extra night basically although it is nice to like I guess I would have gone home and then like um, basically just stayed home tomorrow <laughs> um, anyway thoughts on costume college I had a really good time this year it was really fun I don't normally costume as I keep saying, um, but I wore two and that was a lot. That was pretty intense. I don't know if I would do that again. I'm pretty sure I would only want to do one at the most. Um, and I don't know, I guess I would do Saturday because Friday's kind of wah wah with the USO show. I hope they don't do that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, it was so good to meet so many people that you watch my channel. So if I met you, hi. <laughs> I tried to put as many of you as I could on camera so that you guys could like be in the vlog and see yourself. Um, and now you know what I'm like in actuality and I'm just like I am on camera. <laughs> um, also, uh, you know what vlogging's like. It's not that hard. <laughs> um, yeah, and I had a really great time um, costuming with Bernadette even though that was kind of anti anticlimactic and wearing Iron Man again was good. Um, but it was just like, 
it's a lot of hassle because you gotta like get dressed and think about what you're gonna wear and like have people to help you get dressed and like I get my own room so like I basically have to beg one of my friends to come over luckily I had friends who were here who didn't weren't staying in this hotel and they were like people who mostly hang out in the hotel rooms anyway they don't really go I mean they go to the con but kind of kind of and kind of not they spend a lot of time not going to the con um and so I was lucky that they were just like hanging out and I was like can you help me and then they were just they did all sorts of if I had to like iron all that stuff and try to do my hair by my, like man that would have been a mess anyway I'm really grateful for that um so I had a really good time despite the fact that I like wasn't into the costuming part um well costuming that much um it was actually really fun and um I had a really great time seeing people and like people I know and people that I don't know and so um it was fantastic I had the best time I probably ever had at costume college and I'm glad I got to do some classes so that was great um it's it's like the base reason why I'm here so so um I guess I'm gonna sign off because costume college is kind of over for me I mean there's still people downstairs and stuff and but a lot of people have already left because it's after five o'clock and that's when the con ends and a lot of people who live in the area just like beeline the heck home because it's close or like my friends all drove back to San Jose tonight so they got in the car at five and that's what I usually do is get in the car and go back home it's really rough to do an entire day at costume college though and then drive home that night because you're just like so tired uh, so I am grateful that I get to like sleep again tonight and like get a good night's rest and stuff so anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so um, I will see you guys probably next week with another vlog I don't know I might film something and stick it up on Friday but probably not I think I'm just gonna kind of take the week off after this because this was really intense oh yeah daily vlogging daily vlogging is crazy guys because <laughs> you're like out and about doing stuff and you're doing as much stuff as possible because you're trying to like you know show everybody everything because that's what I wanted to do was show everybody everything and like let you know what costume college looks like and what my experience is like and stuff like that um but then you come home at like 11 o'clock at night and you have to edit your video and the editing isn't really that bad it's more like you have to wait for it to upload on you have to render it and then wait for it to upload on hotel wi-fi so like it was like 2 30 every night that i was uploading these things so um you know kind of ready to not do that for a little while uh it'll be nicer at home though and I have so much stuff to do and I gotta I gotta fix the board. So anyway, I'm gonna sign off. It was so great to have you guys with me at Costume College. If I can do it next year, I would still daily vlog. Like it was fun. Um, I had a good time doing it and you know, it's fun for everybody to see themselves on camera too. And it's really great just for people who aren't here to be able to see everything on camera. So um, if I can do it next year, I will. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll see you guys in about a week. Bye guys.